This particular facility is just under 5,000 square meters. Um, it, it homes our um, rail repair and assembly operations and we, we hold our, our own warehousing product here um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's operations. It's positioned in, uh, in Pomona, the new facility, um, strategically positioned here from a logistical perspective. Um, we're very close to the airport, we're close to, to main arterial highways and you know from a logistics perspective we find it uh, you know we find it very uh, convenient and um, you know it's it's a it's an area that is that is growing and uh, our images is is growing with it so so the idea is to is to be in a good location tim can have had a long history in rail in south africa we have developed a supply chain over decades um, and we continue to do so as as big rail players in the country like Transnet begin to expand in their market demand strategy, um, as you might know, they're building 1,064 locomotives. Timken is very much involved. We're supplying to all four of the builders. And, um, you know, as we build those bearings to supply those builders to supply Transnet, we're then setting up supply chains locally with a number of components. Um, that, uh, that support that program. So yeah, as they grow, we grow, and so does our supply chain. Yeah, for the Timken company, the Africa continent is a high focus, and uh, we are going after it to grow our business. And uh, we are very proud of this new facility in South Africa. Uh, this has got uh, world-class infrastructure in terms of uh, training, which we will leverage to build our brand across the Africa continent. Uh, we are setting up uh, infrastructure across Africa. Uh, we have an office to cover North Africa in Tunis. We have an office in East Africa in Nairobi to cover East Africa. And uh, I'm sure that all our customers will greatly leverage the facility here uh, to grow their businesses and our business.